Hi, I'm Lena Rao. Welcome to our Ask a VC series where we put VCs in the hot seat. We're joined today by Michael Yang, Managing Director of Comcast Ventures. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Lena. Um, I want to just go into a little bit of your background before we start. Um, you are a former Yahoo VP, and uh, you've done a lot at Yahoo, so I just want to go through sure. a little bit of, of what you've done. Um, you were uh, the VP and general manager in the media group, as well as the local markets and commerce division. You also managed Yahoo Autos, Yahoo Real Estate, Yahoo Health, um, co-led Yahoo Shopping. Uh, seems like you did a lot there. It was a great uh, time. I joined back in the summer of 05 and had the privilege of working with a lot of great Yahoo's, still be purple today. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you could tell from some of the businesses that uh, I was involved with over there, they've helped inform some of my investment strategies and thesis afterwards since joining Comcast Ventures. What do you think about um, Marissa Meyer's, you know, sort of new path and, and, and the potential for Yahoo to, you know, become what it once was sure. back in the day? I think we're all optimistic and hopeful. Yeah. You know, anyone who was, was at Yahoo for a while, you know, uh, keeps her fingers crossed that she can uh, continue the upward trajectory that they seem to be on and, um, you know, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Um, so I want to switch gears uh, to Comcast Ventures. You joined in 2009. Um, Comcast is kind of a different entity um, from some of the other VC firms we have on the show. Um, you're, you have one LP, and that's Comcast, the corporation, which is this huge conglomerate of now NBC and, and a number of other um, properties. Um, how does that work for you? Sure. Comcast Ventures uh, has been around for uh, 14 years now. We were actually founded back in 1999 by one of the original founders of Comcast Corp. Um, and we've had a very consistent mission to invest in great technology startups, principally here in the U.S. Um, and like any other VC, we look for uh, great markets, great teams, and, and great products. Um, we've grown from uh, six individuals roughly in the Philadelphia area to today we are four offices, San Francisco, which is where Comcast Ventures is headquartered, plus Palo Alto, Philadelphia, New York, an investment staff of, of 12 professionals, and um, we are broad technology investors in multiple sectors and, and industries. Um, we're also multi-stage as well. Yeah, so I'm, I want to talk a little bit about the sectors sure. because you've led investments across a number of sectors, marketplaces, a little bit of enterprise, but what our readers were really fascinated in um, when it came to your background was your investments in health tech. And I want to talk broadly about why is health tech so hot right now? I mean, it, it seems like every VC, even if the firm is not actually specializing in health, is talking about health tech. Sure. So what what is it and what are you excited about? Yeah, well, Lena, the, the stats on healthcare are just astounding. I think more and more people are becoming aware uh, to it. Um, you know, here in the U.S., uh, we as a population, as a nation, spend over two and a half trillion dollars a year, which is approaching 20 percent of our GDP. That is as large of a market size and market opportunity as there is out there. Um, I think we all have um, personal encounters with individuals who struggle with various personal health issues. Um, America is also graying. 13% of our population are seniors right now um, with life expectancies uh, continuing to grow. Um, those folks uh, will continue to consume large amounts of kind of the, the health care system. Um, we realize that we're also not getting any healthier, right? Um, obesity is one of the largest epidemics, if not the largest, here in America, and more and more people are becoming wiser to it. The advent of the internet and the web just allows a lot more information to be disseminated, so people are able to kind of go online and start to kind of self-diagnose, do a lot more research, um, and that was one, some of the stuff that I saw back at Yahoo Health in the mid uh, 2000s. It's like the web MDDs. Correct. And, you know, I was part of AOL Health back in the late 90s, kind of spawning uh, that, that property. And healthcare is a slow moving industry. It's starting to pick up a little bit more. Uh, and there's a lot of innovation going on, which is quite exciting. And that's probably why you see a lot of the attention focused by venture capitalists as well as entrepreneurs on that space. So tell me about what in, in the healthcare space, because it is a huge, even healthcare tech is a huge industry. I mean, there's gadgets, there's there's online portal, portals, um, there's, you know, uh, social networks. Uh, what are you particularly excited about within that space? Sure. 
So there's a few trends that are really converging right now. Um, the first is obviously technology trends such as mobile uh, and sensor-based technologies. Those two are kind of coming together, which is creating some of the gadgets and some of the mobile apps in the healthcare space that you see. If you go into iTunes or Android Play today, the sheer number of apps in those categories is astounding. Um, and again, because we're seeing smarter and better um, uh, entrepreneurs and uh, going after the healthcare space, we're going to continue to see the pace of that innovation increasing. Again, back to kind of the real world, prevention and wellness are big themes that people continue to, uh, to talk about. There's so much consciousness about taking care of oneself, almost a do-it-yourself kind of attitude, try to self-serve because the healthcare system is failing us um, largely. Um, people are looking for technologies to kind of improve that. And I think the last thing is if you think of the healthcare industry as a enterprise industry in and of itself on a B2B kind of fashion, uh, increasing there's new technologies on the software side that are going there to try to make that a lot more productive, a lot more efficient, and try to take costs out of the system. So I'm, I'm really curious because when you walked in here, you had this awesome gadget on, and, and of course I um, had to inquire what, sure. what it was. And uh, it's a body media uh, sensor, um, and Comcast is actually an investor in this. So tell me about what does this do? I'm kind of curious. Sure. So uh, body media is a monitoring armband uh, that goes up here on your uh, bicep. Um, and what it is is an on-body monitor that is one of the most accurate consumer med tech devices on measuring calories burned. It's primarily focused and targeted at people with BMI in excess of 30. So it's people who are more or less overweight to, to uh, more principally obese. Um, folks who need a device in their behavioral change process to kind of get them back to kind of the healthy uh, lifestyle that they seek to have. Body Media goes to market um, principally with um, integrated partnerships and channels. So 24 Hour Fitness, which is the big national uh, gym chain, they're one of the first to kind of take this to market. So you may have a trainer there who is going to collaborate with you and suggest that uh, you, you use the armband. And with the armband, you can track a lot of interesting stats. You know, they're collecting 5,000 data points per minute um, that the, gives the trainer better uh, visibility into kind of what they need to, to do with you. Um, Jenny Craig's another great channel for these guys. Um, so if you signed up for a specific diet or nutrition plan, um, you know, you may get the body media device as part of your subscription package over there. So your nutritionist continues to collaborate with you on that front too. You also mentioned uh, the biggest loser That's is right. using this now. That's um, right. And, and I, what I think is really interesting is that, you know, you guys over at Comcast helped facilitate that. Yeah, um, you know, the biggest loser, as you know, is, is in its 14th season, um, they brought the body media armband device to their contestants and as well the family members of the contestants, because as we know, weight loss is typically not confined to the individual, but the entire family. Um, it's a device that the, the celebrity trainers on the show, like Jillian Michaels and, and others really love. And, um, you know, it, it speaks to the efficacy and the accuracy of what, you know, this device can do. And broadly speaking, it's a whole category of devices that are there, again, to help stimulate and, and facilitate that behavioral change process that people want when they undergo kind of weight loss uh, ambitions. Yeah, so... Um I'm curious now, you, you know, you, body media is a good example of mm -hmm. some of the things that Comcast can do when it comes to, um, you know, cross uh, pollination, I guess sure. would, would be a good way to put it, um, across some of the properties that, you know, are part of the Comcast Corporation. Is this something that, you know, you're seeing with a lot of your startups in the portfolio? Yes. You know, what's unique about us at Comcast Ventures is that, you know, we're a venture fund. We have a single capital source. That capital source is unique, and it's one of the largest uh, media and technology conglomerates, you know, here here in America. We have at our disposal legions of experts and kind of uh, capabilities that we can bring to bear for the benefit of our portfolio companies. So, you know, as you've had many great uh, folks on your show and that you guys cover, you understand Venture Today is increasing about offering value add uh, for the entrepreneurs and the management teams and, and the portfolio companies. We can offer that in very distinct ways. Um, specifically with regard to healthcare, and people ask us, what's our interest in that? Well, let me, let me talk to that for a second. Um, Comcast is a Fortune 50 corporation. Uh, we have well over 100,000 employees. 
that is a big bill that as a self-insured employer, we underwrite collectively at the, at the parent level. So any advancements, technologies, and services that can you know, facilitate and improve that, that outcome in that state, we are generally interested at, at Comcast Ventures. And we partner extremely heavily with the dispersed groups within Comcast. Um, we have a chief medical officer at NBC Universal that we have at our disposal for clinical kind of guidance and expertise. We have an outstanding human resources and benefits department that's thinking very forward on, on introducing new technologies and services. And you know, they are mindful of, of what's going on in America. Most of us get our health insurance, you know, 55% of Americans get it from our employers, so they care about what's going on here. And of course, all the stuff you mentioned on, on the, uh, the NBC side, which help with getting kind of more of a direct-to-consumer marketing kind of story out, out to the populace. Well, it sounds like if you're a healthcare startup, come to Michael Yang because you obviously have a really big passion for this, and it's, um, uh, you know, it's a really interesting area. I think that's a lot of technology advancements are going to happen in the coming year. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank and you. Uh, please come and return. Absolutely.